There's no reason to. He understands that this is very much Jackie Love's game to control. And that means that IG, they start off the Baron. It's 20 minutes and 17 seconds in. What can Fnatic do? All right, Fnatic, they got to look for it. This is their hope. Their backs are against the walls. The Baron is dropping down. And they have no vision. You've got to stop it here. But Belal is able to go over the wall. Brock goes in. He steals the Baron. Sometimes you have to throw it out simply to get through those corridors to make enough space to walk through. Now we see the switches coming in from the Philadelphia Fusion. Here it comes. This is a narrow corner. We've got a tough break. Quick to throw. Oh! Oh, 4K! Oh, With the back. Profit! Seeing the future, man. Seeing where they're going to be. And that is one of the best Hanzo ults I've seen in a while. That one's got to sting a bit. That was maybe the only chance, but Guardian comes back in. Oh, Guardian, he gets two. There's still more to go, though. Cloudline must plant the bomb. The peaks come in, but Guardian will not stop. One more to go, and Guardian gets them all. Seb, can he find a chance with the RP? Chalice on the high ground. They're going to head into the pit, OG. They're confident, knowing Seb can sit there on the high ground, ready for the counter play. Arme getting sprouted. Chalice looks to make a play, jumps in, immediately going for it with the lasso. Has he got the control to get the damage out? He can. That's going to be Arna dead. But Arna buys back straight away. Arme moving in with the BKB. Roche is still alive throughout this all. They've lost Thompson. The slight, the change, the remnant across. They'll get the kill onto Chalice. Global. But now Arna, he's in the middle of it all. Yulzed himself up the flame guard, ticking it right down like the sign of fish. The RP. Seb, he's got the control. All to Arme. As OG, they fight three. They look to want Somnus surrounding him in the pit. Somnus, he'll go down as well. Oh the buyback from Anna securing the fight here for OG. There's only X Nova left alive, but not for long. They chase him down. They get the team wide triple kill for Anna as he buys back, plays his way back over into the pit, secures OG the team fight and himself the Aegis. <laughs> Is this a trick to, to cool me down? He's giving him that look. Are you trying to cool me down? You see the eyes narrow for a second there? He's like, what is going on? What, what, what's happening here is... Yeah, the, the question Sonic Fox is apparently asking is if there can be a side switch in between the sets. He wants player one now. But the rules say, nah, son, you got to stay right there. You know, that is kind of old school arcade style. Yeah. And you can actually do that in arcade, on the arcade base. This is pretty different in the console. So I haven't actually I haven't heard that ruling since 2000. Wow, what a it gentleman! It is a side switch. What a gentleman! Well, I wonder what's the reason about it too, though. I wonder what's the reason. I mean, it, it's fair, man. Yo, real rap. I haven't seen this rule since ECC 11. The random hit. He knows that's all he needs. Sonic Fox, one more for the championship. Oh, big body combos. What are we gonna do though to open him up? Nice block. Sonic Fox playing it nice and slow with his 16. This is crazy. This is like the only time we see Cell really not looking at his strongest when he don't got no help. He's all yeah, light, light. Makes up there. Bardock assist. One more. Got him. Oh, this is it. He's gonna kill him. That's He's gonna the kill open him. up for Sonic Here Fox. It is. And Sonic Fox. It's oh. oh, wait a minute. Yo, wait, do not tell me we're gonna summon. Are we gonna summon? Oh. And Sonic Fox is your Dragon Ball Fighters Evolution 2018 champion. He's, He's done it. it. He's done it. All those years, Sonic Fox, back-to-back -back EVO champion, multi-time EVO champion, NRS games, he's done it all. Everybody said he only wins in the games people don't play. He won the biggest game at Evolution. Everybody has to respect this man. Violent Panda puts it straight out. It's gonna be over to Kano! It's almost there! Violent Scott! The shot on answered from Kano! All season long, he's had support from Turbo. And he won't let up now. Four seconds left. NRG need this immediately. They've got to kick off in their favor. Kano tries to clear. It is almost there. It just has to hit the floor. Violet Panda puts it a long way. And it's almost there. Justin keeps it alive. Turbo puts it there. Bounces it into the corner. NRG still around. Justin is there for the shot. And
Score has got the ulti ready again. Yukal takes a little bit of damage from the Blade Caller. Everything's still fine here for KT Rolster. They've got the Shy in the bottom lane, but Shy has no TP. This is going to be your game ending push one way or the other. It's KT going for the base. It's going to be a base race. Nexus throwing number one, taking down the half HP. KT looking to end it right here, right now. Ning taking down the half. It's Shy versus Snap at the base at the same time. Bottom's going to be taken very low. Yukal barely going to be kept alive. Score taking down the one quarter. Snap's nearly going to be killed now as well. Death taken so low. The Blade Call is not able to find him. Death goes in a killing spree. It's the Shy still in the base. It's KT looking to try to stay in a fight if they can. The Shy has made his way onto the inhibitor turrets, onto the Nexus turrets. They're going to be taken down. KT still marching. It's a base race. The Shy's onto the blue Nexus. KT's onto the red. Who's going to win? The Shy will not. And KT takes it to game four. Holy crap!